All right, welcome back. In this video, we're going to build a motivational app or a quotes app. Now, this app here, as you can see here, a little, little demo, you'll see that we're going to be able to slide left or right and we'll get this very nicely done card view here, which will contain quotes, right? Quotes that will allow us, quotes that will inspire us, hopefully. Okay, and at the bottom, you can see here we have also the name of the author, of the person who created or wrote this quote. Okay. Now this data here, these quotes, will be, will be getting it from a JSON file, which I added in my GitHub. Of course, you will see all of that in action in a little bit. But you notice here, it's a very simplistic application. We don't have a lot going on. We have a very nice background, very nice logo here. And of course, uh, we can slide left or right to go back and read some of the most famous quotes written ever written okay so this one is from john lennon says life is what happens to you while you're busy making other plans i quite like this one that's very true let's see what's next we become what we think earl nightingale i like that very nice so as you can see here this is a very functional and well-designed application which is worthy to be in our portfolio let's go ahead and get to it if you have already your Android Studio open, go ahead and say File, New. I'm going to create a new project, of course. And this project here, I'm going to call, I'm going to call this Be Happy. And I'm going to change this to Be Happy. Of course, you can change to whatever you want. And the location is perfect. I'm going to say Next. It's all good. Next. I'm going to go ahead and have an empty activity as usual and say next, main activity, that's fine, and finish. And now our app, now our project is being created. All right, there we go. In a few seconds, you should have your project all ready for us to start coding. And of course, the first thing I usually like to do is I like to run it. Of course, there's nothing new there, but it's always a good idea to run it so that we have the feeling that things are indeed working properly the setup went well very nice uneventful but is the mandatory <laughs> first time run okay so we have this now the next thing i like to do is let's start designing our user interface so like you saw the idea is to have a nice background so i went ahead already and got a very nice background which is the background you saw in a previous demo and i'm going to get that information those resources images and put in our resource files here of course, you will have access to them. But again, the idea is that you find your own resources if you wish to, right? So that way you make this app your own. Okay, let's do that. I'm going to go ahead and get all that information and I'll be back. That information here because I have it all hidden somewhere. And resources, I'm going to draw a ball. I'm going to paste it in. Say okay. You notice I have this lily pad thing image and I also have this motivation background. If you're wondering where you find these backgrounds, you just go online and type in material design wallpaper in Google. You'll find a lot of them. Okay. And uh, just pick one and use one. But also be very careful as you get assets from the internet to make sure that you're not breaching any agreements, meaning um, if you're not breaking license or so forth. So if you are creating applications that you're going to sell or put in the in the Google Play Store, you want to make sure that you have the correct licenses, you have the permission to use it. That's very important. Okay, perfect. So we have this image here, you can, of course, go and find your own. And that's all good. What else do we need? Let me see. The other thing here to save us, I'm going to go to values, say colors, of course, we know this already, these colors that are being used to brand our application. So we're going to change that. So I already have all those colors, so I'm going to copy and paste what I have so far for my previous project and control V look at that I've got a lot of colors now these other colors that you see here because the main ones are these two these three ones okay so now if you save and give it a quick run here we should see a total different application not that one this one looks really really nice I like that no problem However, uh, you notice that we also I also have all of these other colors here. So these colors are the material design palette colors. So if you go to this link here, let's copy this 
so I can show you. As you can see, we took that link and this is where it takes us. So this is where material design website by Google, where you get all these colors that you can use to, of course, brand your application. So that's what we have in our color that XML. So essentially someone went ahead <laughs> patiently and got all of these shades, all of these colors and put all of them into an XML file, which you see here and shared. So I copied it and pasted it all in here so we can use it. Okay. And the good thing is you can always save, you can save these colors here. So anytime you create a new project, just copy all these colors and add it to your colors. So we can, that, can, that way you can then infer them in code. All right. So we have that. That's a good. Okay, let's go back to our user interface. Let's go to our activity main over there. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to style because I want to get rid of our action bar is at the top here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just say here, instead of dark action bar, I'm going to just say dot no action bar as such. Oops. That. Let's save and give it a run and see if that's going to change anything. And there we go. You notice there is really no action bar anymore. Perfect. That's good. All right. Let's go back to our activity uh, main activity main XML here and do some work. Let's open our preview. Let's get rid of this hello world here because we don't need that. Next thing, let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and add a background here. I'm going to go ahead and say background and I'm going to point it to our background that we already have, which is called the motivation background or motivation BG. And all of a sudden you see we now have this beautiful background that covers the entire screen. Let's give a quick run here because it's always fun to take a look and you will see look at voila. Very, very nice. In a matter of a second, we're able to change the way our application looks. Okay. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add, we're going to add our lily pad, our little logo here at the top. So, um, but before we go any further, I'm going to change this to be relative layout. I'm going to say relative layout as such. That's very good. Close that one down. And let's give it put give it, put it an image view over there. This is going to be, I'm gonna say it's 150 dp by 150 dp. This is the size I'm gonna give to that's the size of our image. Give an ID, of course. I'm gonna call this Lily image. Let's give it a source and it's going to be drawable and it's going to be lily as such. And there we go. You have it. But now we want to make sure that it's actually in the middle right about there. So we're going to say center horizontal to be true and voila. Okay. Quick run here. We should see. There we go looking real good. Very nice. All right. So we are going to keep going here. The next thing we're going to do here is we are going to add. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to add a view pager object here. So I'm going to go ahead and put say view pager and there go the first one and I'm going to say match parent. This is going to be wrap content for the height. Oh, this has to be view pager. There we go. There we go. Very nice. All right. I'm going to give it an ID because we need a way to reference it. Let's say view pager as such. And that's it. And you can see nothing really is showing here because what's going to happen is that this view pager we will be calling in code to create the actual um, sliding effect. All right. So. So the view pager is going to host fragments that will hold each view as we create quotes for this motivational app. Okay, let's save this. 
Okay, so give it a run again. We shouldn't see anything new, of course, but at least we know that we have everything set up at least for our view here, for our main activity. In the next video, what we're going to do is we are going to create the right fragments in the adapter that we will then connect to our view pager so that we have this effect that we are looking for, which is the slide left and right. And then obviously later we'll populate with the quotes that we're getting from our JSON API. Okay, perfect. I'll see you next video.